Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Andy, aka The Opinionated Brit, and we're back with another product review. This time, we're looking at another hair product from Singapore, and that is the Orchid Texture Paste from Gerson & Co. So, without further ado, let's uh, roll the credits and get on with the review. <laughs> Hello, all you wonderful people. Uh, thank you for uh, joining me again on the channel. As I mentioned in the intro, we're having a look at a, another hair product from Singapore, and that is the Orchid Texture Paste from uh, Gerson & Co. Um, I'll start off and I'll mention this was sent to me by Gerson & Co to review. Um, they haven't paid me to do the review, so all my opinions are my own, whether that be good, bad, or indifferent but they did send me it to uh, review. Um, I've been using it on and off for a few weeks, so I've got a pretty good hold on uh, how it works, but we'll, uh, we'll roll straight into it. So I'll tell you a little bit about the product and I'll read this straight off the uh, website. So, Orchid Texture Paste. The Orchid Texture Paste is a strong hold featherweight product that will help take your hair to greater heights. It contains a perfectly balanced mixture of kaolin and bentonite clay with infused activated charcoal. This paste will coat each and every strand of hair to give it volume while its cleansing properties help to strengthen your hair and improve its elasticity. It's a great word that, elasticity. Um, it's water soluble, strong hold, high texture matte finish uh, with an easy washout, easy application and it's featherweight for maximum strength to weight ratio. So there you go. That is a, a real brief overview of the product and that was taken off their website. Um, but let's uh, get on with my opinions. That's what you want to know is uh, how does it perform for me? Um, so as always, we'll start off and we'll have a look at the packaging and design. So it comes in this 100 milliliter, 100 milliliter, sorry, um, plastic, amber plastic uh, jar. I think that's about four ounces. I know you guys in the US like to uh, use ounces. Um, obviously on the label, you've got Gerson & Co, um, Orchid Texture Paste. You've got um, obviously the logo and everything there. On the side label, again, you've got Gerson & Co, Tech, Orchid Texture Paste. On one side, um, you've got a little bit about what it is. I don't know if you can pick that up, probably not. Um, <clears throat> directions for best result work a dime sized amount between your foot palms and apply on blow dried hair comb or shape your hair to desired style restyle anytime use more if needed um, and then on the other side you've got the ingredients and obviously dress I'll put um, I'll put the ingredients uh, down here somewhere so you can read them at your leisure <clears throat> um, scent so the scent is black orchid which I believe is a dupe of Tom Ford's Black Orchid. I haven't smelt it, but my wife says it's quite similar. I get a little muskiness, sweet, musky, maybe slightly vanilla-y. It's not like a vanilla tobacco scent. It has got a sort of, yeah, definitely musky, black, I suppose. Um, base um scoop and breakdown <clears throat> just one I'll, i'm going to go back a minute actually the design or the um the, the product design obviously comes in this tub but a nice little touch as this little plastic cover that sits on the top to protect it from uh, any crap getting in there to stop it from drying out too early <clears throat> um and now we'll move on to the scoop and breakdown so being a paste this scoops out super easily, no resistance whatsoever. Um, and then break down, as you can see. Breaks down like butter. It breaks down like butter. No problem whatsoever with that. There we go. Let me wash it off. So yeah, the uh, scoop and the breakdown are spot on. Um, Double thumbs up from me. Um, styling, obviously I'll put the video, um, the styling 
clip up now. It styles super easy. Um, it does recommend that you style it into blow dried hair. Me personally, I, uh, I found that a little bit difficult just because I've got thick um, wavy hair. Um, for me, I got best results styling into um, towel dried hair, which I, uh, I tend to do with most of my products. And as you can see in the video, um, no problems whatsoever. You just uh, get it in, distribute it, comb it through with a, um, a Denman brush or something similar just to distribute it evenly. And then I, uh, I style it with a, a, an Afro pick, but you could quite easily style it with um, your hands if you want to um, finger comb it, or you could use a wide tooth comb or however you want to do it. Um, it does dry out, or not dry out, but it, you do get a little bit of tack and resistance um, once it goes in, but it's not uncomfortable. You're not going to lose a lot of hair. Um, so there you go. Yeah, that was the... Uh, styling um restylability okay so and this is me talking about my hair um i found that i mean this is probably after it, it that that other video was, was done on another day but i've been out all day with a family today um outside in the uh, the elements it's not too bad it's held its shape pretty good um but I do find when you do restyle it, whether that's with your hands or a comb, it can, the more you mess with it, the more it'll dry out. Not uncomfortably, it's not, we're not talking like it's gonna turn your hair to straw, but it will dry um, dry out a little bit. That's probably because of my hair. My hair is quite naturally dry and thick and wavy. Um, so if you've got a different hair type, you might find it works a little bit better restyling throughout the day. But I'd say matte pastes, um, <laughs> They don't err on the side of being able to restyle um, very well. And that's not just this one, that's just matte paste in general. At least I find they don't. Um, but yeah, you probably could restyle it a, a couple of times and, and, and get away with it. Um, the endurance it advertises itself as a stronghold and I'd say that's pretty accurate. Um, as I said, I've been out all day with the family um up to a place called Brimham Rocks uh here in Yorkshire so the big massive rocks that you can go and climb up and we've been climbing up and down rocks all day and it's like I said it's held up pretty well um it's at least eight hours since I've styled it so yeah pretty impressed with that the washout <clears throat> the washout is dead simple it's not going to come out it is a water soluble product but it's not going to come out just with water um you do need to use probably a shampoo and a conditioner but it will come out in one wash if you use that uh, those products. So yeah, it, it, it washes out pretty good. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, overall, I'll, I'll do a little summary afterwards, but we'll go through some pros and cons. So pros, it is easy to use, dead easy to use. Um, it does give good texture and hold, um, and it does smell good. Um, uh, for me, I like a good smelling product. You don't tend to get whiffs of it throughout the day, but that's fine. Um, some people like that, some people don't. And um, I do like that it has activated charcoal in it, um, and that helps to avoid any buildups or grease, dirt, or impurities throughout the day. So that's a that's a cool little, um, I suppose, um, advantage it's got over other similar products. Cons: um, it doesn't allow restyling very well. It, at least in my hair um it, as i say um it might be different in a different hair type um and it is a little difficult to, to style in dry hair at least when my hair is quite naturally dry um i did try and, and, and blow dry it and then style it with a pre-styler um and it was just it was difficult um not impossible, but <clears throat> it wasn't how I tend to, or I didn't find it very easy. But that's not, that's just me, it's subjective. You may find it is a lot easier. Um, so in summary, overall, for me, it's a middle of the road product. Um, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't go back to it time and time again. Um, I think it probably works best or better for people with fine hair rather than thick wavy hair like me. Um, but having said that, it is a good matte paste. Um, it's easy to use, it smells great, and it holds up throughout the day. So 
if you're just going to from the home to your office or whatever um, or working from home throw it in and, and you'll have no problems whatsoever um, you can grab it so you can get it at Gersten Co Direct you can get it from uh, Spread Style in Europe and also Faith and Integrity over in the US so it's readily readily ready I always have trouble saying this it's readily available um, wherever you are so yeah that's a good bonus as well um, as always thank you for watching um, it uh, means a lot thank you to all the people who are new to the channel um, and who've subscribed since my last video um, if you're watching this for the first time and you've enjoyed the review and the content uh, please consider subscribing like the video um, click that bell so you don't miss any of uh, my new videos um, coming out in the future and please leave a comment drop a comment have you used this product before what do you think of it um, have you got any recommendations for uh, other matte pastes or similar products um, if you're watching this as a brewer or a, a company and you'd like me to review any of your products just uh, hit me up at the email address which is the opinionated Brit at outlook.com um, and I'd be happy to do a review um, enjoy the rest of your weekend um, stay out of trouble stay safe but most importantly stay greasy and I'll see you soon peace